This guide shows you how to download your photographs from your camera or your smartphone in Windows 8. This may work in other later versions of Windows but at the time of recording we're unsure as the new versions of Windows have not yet been released. First of all you need to ensure you're in desktop mode. If you're not in desktop mode, from the start screen click desktop. The next thing we need to do is click on this yellow folder at the bottom of the screen here. Left click it once. This PC will now appear. Now we need to ensure we have this menu available to us at the top of the screen also known as the ribbon. If this is not present then click on the downward arrow next to the question mark in the top right hand corner of the window. Left click this once and the menu appears. Next thing we need to do is we need to plug in our camera or in my case the smartphone. Plug it into the USB socket now. Keep an eye on the screen as you plug it in to see where it appears on the screen. As you can see on my computer, Chris S5 has appeared. Your device will obviously be named something different, but it will be the device that's now appeared under devices and drivers on the screen. Double left click this now. I need to double click this now. This may be something different on your screen. Whatever it is, double click on it. As you can see here, I've, I've got a lot of folders now opened up on screen. You might only have one folder, maybe two or three folders, but the folder we're looking for is DSIM. This one just here. And almost all cameras will have a DSIM folder. Double left click this now. Now I have a folder on the screen called camera. Again, this may differ on your computer. At this point you may already see the photographs. So I double click on camera on my screen. Basically, keep double clicking any folders that appear on the screen until you start seeing photographs appear on the screen. As you can see, I've got some little thumbnails now appeared on my screen. Um, they're a bit small, I can't really see them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the view menu here and left click view once. This gives me the option to change the size of the icons that appear. Now I can have medium sized icons, small size icons. I can show the icons as a list, as tiles, um, more details on the content. But what I wanna do is I'm just gonna click this little downward arrow here and I'm looking, there we go, for large icons. So I left click once on large icons and as you can see, it's made the icons a little bit bigger. Now, if I want them even bigger still, I've got the option here of extra large icons, which makes the, uh, the icons very, very large on the, uh, on the screen. But obviously I can see less icons um, when I click this. So I'm gonna stick with the large icons so I can see all the photographs I want. Now, what I can do here is if, if, if I've got too many photos to see on screen, I can scroll up and down. In this case, I've only got um, seven photographs, eight photographs on the, on the, on the screen, so um, I can't actually scroll. But if I had more photographs here that I could, than I could see on the screen, then you could scroll up and down the screen. Or alternatively, you could click this middle button here, the maximize button, and that would open up the screen into a full window. Now, what I need to do is I need to click on the um, home button again here. Okay, and I need to select the photographs that I want to copy onto the computer. So I wanna copy these three photographs just here. So what I need to do is I need to hold down the control key also known as the CTRL key. This is almost always 
the key that's at the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard like I say it's usually marked CTRL hold this down now with this held down left click once on the first photograph you want to select for transfer to the computer then move your mouse over the next photograph that you want to select and left click again as you can see, as I'm left clicking, a tick's appearing in the top left hand corner of each photograph and also a blue box is appearing around the, uh, the, the photograph. So again, I'm going to left click this third one just once. OK, and I can see at the bottom of the screen here, it says there's three items selected and that's correct. OK, I can now let go of the CTRL key. Now, the next thing I need to do is move my mouse up to the ribbon and left click once on copy to. Now it's going to ask us where do we want to copy the photographs to. So if our um, folder that we want to copy them to is listed on here, on this list here, we can uh, just select left click once and select the folder we want to copy to. Now, obviously, I'd want to copy these to the pictures folder, but I really want to copy them to a folder of their own. Um, otherwise, the pictures folder is going to get really messy if I just copy everything to the pictures folder. So I still want to put it in the pictures folder, but I want to put it in a folder of its own. So to do this, I click choose location, and that's a left click, by the way. OK, now it's going to ask where do we want to put them. So again, I've scrolled down and I want to put them in pictures, but I want to make a new folder. So I left click once on pictures to say, yes, we want to put it in pictures. And then I left click once on make new folder. And I'm going to give this folder a name and the folder can be called absolutely anything you like. Um, just make it something relevant to uh, what the pictures are, are regarding. So this is a pictures of a, a playing field. So that's what I'm going to call it, the folder playing field. So playing field, I'll type that in there. OK, I press the enter or return key on my keyboard. And then left click once on copy. And there we go, the pictures have now copied into the pictures folder in a folder called playing field. So to check that, I'm just gonna close down this camera window here by clicking, left clicking once on the red cross or the red box with a white cross in the top left hand corner. I move my mouse down to this yellow folder down here, left click it once, okay. Double left click on the pictures folder under the folders section. There's our folder called playing field. I double click it again and there's our three photographs. And if we want to view them larger on screen, then I can double click these photographs and they'll open up full screen.